main frame and shooting range. Run setter crime scene. A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. It's some kind of insect. Give me a hard copy of that. Run setter crime scene. Hmm. Muddy boots. Guess he's from out of town. Give me a hard copy of that. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. 
Clue database transfer complete. Roof. Ground floor. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I didn't know the Rastafarian. The Asian fellow was one of our ex-members. Izo was his name. How long did you know him for? Let's see. I met him about five years ago. He seemed so smart and balanced. He really wanted to help the replicant people. Then what? He started associating with the more militant factions. I was astounded when I heard he was supplying weapons to some of them. What kind of weapons? Guns so new that even the police had hardly used them, I heard. I got some more questions for you. Lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the citizens against replicant slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up.
The body was still there. I didn't know when the trash got picked up in this neighborhood, but I hoped it was soon. Locked. Totally uninteresting. Locked. 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 This girl ever eat around here? Nah, all gaijin look like the old man. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do highway favor? Distribute all through our police station? See you later, Howie. See you later, Howie. Locked. Totally uninteresting.
Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Yuck. Lock up. Main frame and shooting range. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Bryant go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed at how accommodating a man can be after his hemorrhoids get lanced. You really been surprising the troops around here, kid. Gaff says you work that retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? Couple hundred chinyan. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Shouldn't take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking... maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something, something nice. Once you start carving up that juicy bacon, kid, the taste never goes away. The great things in life, believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid.
Your floor number, please. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Maggie, come here, girl. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. No messages. I'm in demand. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Got your delivery here, man. Uh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real company. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Please, can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only city leader! Extra terrestrial gravity. One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. Oh, I swear! I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. You one miserable package man. No! No, please, don't! Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? 
One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are dealer or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Your floor number, please. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Ground floor, main frame and shooting range. We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess, he's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy underthings in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me, especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it.
McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Jesus. I seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. This hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Eisendeller had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendeller, so I figured they must be worth having. 